Today's video is a little bit of a letdown and a bit of a disappointment. I have before you a ATEM uh, Mini Pro and uh, I was using it on a job the other day uh, streaming for a client and what happened was the video was coming out normal out of the multi view and then all of a sudden it just stopped. Uh, screen went blank uh, I thought that it was this little monitor that I have. It's a Feel World 7 inch monitor. And you know, it's a fairly inexpensive monitor. I think it was about $120. And I thought to myself, well, it's probably the cheap, shitty uh, monitor that died, or maybe it was a cable, or it was something. The stream was still continuing. Uh, and actually, I was just doing all my monitoring through the actual stream. I took out my cell phone and I was watching the stream to make sure that the video was still coming through and it was. Uh, I was streaming through the RJ45 connector, so the built-in streaming engine. Uh, I also streamed with it the other day and I was actually coming out of the USB. Uh, I was using OBS. So as far as the output through the networking and the USB, that was still working just fine. Uh, however, the, out, the HDMI output has failed. Called Blackmagic and I called Full Compass, which is the company that I purchased it from. Uh, unfortunately, it was out of the 30-day uh, time period to return to Full Compass, so I would have to do an RMA through um, Black Magic. Now, the problem with that is, is you have to send the unit in to be able to go through the whole process. Uh, so basically, I wouldn't have a unit, and I didn't want to have an unknown amount of time without having a unit, especially with the mail system being what it is and, uh, you know, parts uh, and units being available. So uh, if you're watching this video at the time of recording or within a reasonable amount of time of this recording, you'll know that um, shipping and availability of electronic products is, is very uh, limited. So anyway, I want to show you uh, what's going on with this. So, purchased another unit. So, we'll power it up, plug it in, uh, and you can see straight away the multi view comes up. And what we'll do is we'll plug that in there, and we'll get this to connect in just a second. Oh, I need to have the USB plugged in too for the. And you'll see it come up here in just a second. And there it is. So you can see that, that that came up straight away. Now, some of you might say, well, maybe it was your refresh rate. Uh, maybe you changed something in your settings. Maybe you hit one of these buttons here that, that made it look like it was off. Well, here's the first things that I want to talk about this. So anybody that's trying to troubleshoot this through this video, first of all, the, the light on this display went orange, meaning that there was no connection whatsoever. Uh, talking with Blackmagic, they ran me through and they said, well, you know, make sure that your video out is uh, is on the right button. You might have accidentally bumped one of these buttons. Well, it's on multi-view, MV right there. So that's not the issue. Uh, we can also do that. So I've got input one here, HDMI in one coming out. It's got, got the multi-view, so we could either click one. So we see one, or we could go to program, and there's program. You can change um, sources there. So we know that this new unit is working. And let's switch back over here to the unit that has actually failed. And I, when I was on location doing this stream, I changed uh, I changed HDMI cables, uh, I power cycled the unit. Uh, did everything I could to get it back up and running and to no avail. And you can see here that um, now we're getting this orange indicator light and then we've got it saying no signal. So we can click on here, we can say, let's go to one. There's one. Let's go to program. Nothing on program. We can try and uh, do a transition, anything like that. Go back to multi view, nothing. So effectively this unit for whatever reason has died now again 
this is the latest firmware and I just updated this unit to the latest firmware. So whatever the issue is, is a hardware failure. Now you might think to yourself, well, maybe it's the connector inside of here that's gone bad. I don't think so because when this failed, it was on the table and it was sitting just like this. Actually, with, without even any strain on the cable. It was, it was laying flat and all the cables were flat on the table. Nothing was touching uh, the camera. I was actually uh, touching the switcher. I was actually not even touching the switcher. I was actually on... Um, I was next to the camera. I wasn't even near this thing, but I was, I was about a foot away from it, watching it, watching the multi-view, and all of a sudden I just saw it go just out like this. So, unfortunately... This is not the first time I've actually had something happen uh, like this. And what I mean by that is I have, I'm going to pull this out real quick. Uh, I have another unit that was made by Blackmagic that some of you may recognize. This is a original, the original uh, television studio. And this unit has actually suffered from the same problem. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug this unit in. Now, uh, some of you might say right off the bat, well, maybe it's your monitor. Have you been using this monitor? Maybe your monitor is cooking your switcher. Um, I just recently got the this little monitor within the past couple years. I've had this switcher for, for quite a few years now. Uh, the problem is that it's not the TV or the monitor because I actually had a Samsung screen connected to this and this uh, switcher also died. Uh, or didn't, didn't completely die. The inputs work and the outputs work but the um, the multi-view has died. Whoops. I want to plug this into here. I'm not paying attention. There we go. Okay, so let's try the output. So we can see we have a green light here and we also have uh, a black window here showing that we actually have something coming through. And if I plug that in again, we can look closely and it should say the frame rate in the corner here. So we can see we're at 1080i 60 hertz. So this unit is actually outputting 1080i 60 hertz. Now, if I go and I switch over here to the multi-view, it's had the same problem. So I don't know if this is a problem with Blackmagic, with their chips, uh, with their FPGAs, whatever, whatever onboard chips that they're using. For whatever reason, they have, at least in my case, a common failure point of the multi-view. Because we can see here that if we plug this into the regular HDMI output, it works. We go back to the multi-view, we get nothing. And that's exactly the same thing that we're experiencing with this unit right here. Now, I luckily, this unit actually has an SDI multi-view out, which is fantastic because I, I've been able to still use that. Um, now, also, one of the, I think it's, yeah, it's SDI th number three has also failed on this unit but we have an HDMI uh, 3. So I've actually been using the HDMI number 3 on this and I've been avoiding, I've got a little piece of, sh a little bit of Sharpie right there. You can see the little arrow um, that the SDI 3 has failed. So with this unit, SDI 3 has failed and the multi-view uh, HDMI output has failed. The SDI multi-view still does work. Uh, and the outputs, uh, the HDMI output has had some problems. That's why I've been using the S the two SDI outs, which have been working fine. Uh, I am looking to upgrade this unit. I'm looking to get the ATEM uh, Television Studio HD version, uh, which is a more compact version, uh, which does seem to have a fan. It seems like these units actually have an overheating problem. Uh, that may or may not be why they fail. But I just think that it's kind of interesting that out of however many units are, there are in the world that I magically get a uh, one of the first uh, ATEM switchers, the multi-view has failed, and just the multi-view. Um, obviously this SDI has failed, but it's it's intermittent. The, the, the multi-view has full-on failed. 
and that I get a brand new product that's come out many, many years after this unit has debuted. And we can plug this in here and I will give it power. And there we go, we're gonna get powered up. And there's power. And again, same thing, multi-view, dead, completely dead. Now let's go to the brand new unit that I just purchased. Plug it in here. And straight away, boom, there's your multi-view. So I'm really, really disappointed with black magic. Uh, there is no trickery here. This is These are things that I have bought in full amount with my own money. Uh, and this is the replacement unit that I had to buy in order to supplement this unit because it has failed. So I'm really disappointed with Black Magic. Um, I, I really like their products. I do like their their features and their price point. Um, however, they're really making me fearful of continuing to recommend them to users that I do installations for and people that you know ask me, hey, what do you recommend for equipment? I really like what the the I like what they're what the hold they're filling the void that that there is between you know spending you know five thousand dollars on a switcher that would do exactly what this does for six hundred dollars uh, or you know there's all the different brands out there you have uh, JVC Sony Panasonic. Um, you have Grass Valley, you have all these, uh, you, you have Fulsum, uh, you have, uh, let's see, um, just, just a whole host of different companies, Aja, uh, Roland, all these, uh, especially Roland, that, that have all these products that are much, much more expensive than, than any of these. These are a great price point, and they're built, they, they feel like they're built very solid. I mean, all metal construction feel like they're built very well. Uh, and have a lot of great feature sets, but if they keep failing in these in these silly ways, uh, you know, I would understand, you know, power supply failures. You know, that that's very common with a lot of different products where things get dried out and stuff like that, and and they stop working. But for this, for a simple multi-view to fail on this unit and and on this unit here and this unit here, uh, it's very disappointing. So anyway. If you guys like this video, you know what to do down below. Subscribe if you're interested in content like this. Uh, hopefully Blackmagic will see this and maybe they can reach out to me and we can try to resolve this and figure out maybe we, they can tell us why did this fail, uh, what part of it has failed. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.